Hi, welcome to Three Inches Hand Embroidery. I'm Eric. In this video, I'll show you how to color the back of a hand embroidery hoop after you finish embroidering. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming hand embroidery videos. The first method, color the back with the exit fabric. There are three measurements you have to get if you are doing this. First, the diameter of the inner hoop. Second, the thickness of the hoop. And third, the radius of the inner hoop. So, trace the three measurements with a water-soluble pen after you transfer the pattern onto the fabric. After that, cut it out and secure it on the hoop. Sew along the edge with a large running stitch by using a similar color thread. The contrast color thread that I used in the video is for you to see more clearly. Hold the thread to gather the exit fabric at the back once you need to meet the starting point. Normally, I'll make three tiny stitches in the same spot to anchor the threads at the end. Fix it a little bit and it's done. The second method, cover the back of the hoop with felt. Trace the outer edge of the inner hoop on a piece of 1mm stiff felt and cut it out. I would say stiff felt is better than the soft felt if you're using it for backing. Place a felt onto the hoop after you gather the exit fabric at the back. So I'm going to show you how to anchor the felt on the hoop with blanket stitch and whip stitch. We'll do the blanket stitch first. Hide the knot under the felt before you start. After that, stitch up the edges with blanket stitch. So usually I'll make two knots to anchor the last stitch. This is the first knot. And this is the second knot. Send a needle down to the stitching hole on the fabric and bring it up through the felt. After that, cut off the thread. And now I'm going to show you how to do the whip stitch. So same thing at the beginning. Hide the knots under the felt. After that, send a needle down through the felt and fabric and bring it up next to the last stitching hole on the fabric. Keep repeating the same steps along the edges. So the ending is similar to blanket stitch. We'll make two knots on the last stitch. This is the first knot. And this is the second knot. Send a needle down to the stitching hole on the fabric and bring it up through the felt. After that, cut off the thread. The third method, cover the back of the hoop with another layer of fabric. Take down the fabric from the hoop after you finish your work. Place a piece of felt on the back of the fabric and secure it with a thread.
Make sure the static and adding knots are on the fabric side so it will be easier for you to remove it later. After that, place it on top of another piece of fabric and secure them on the hook. Once you secure the fabric on the hook, then you can remove the thread. Cut off the exit fabric at the back, leave around half inch, and gather the fabric with a large running stitch. The fourth method, cover the bag with a chipboard. So what we need here are a piece of chipboard, fabric, double-sided tape, felt, utility knife, and a scissors. Trace the inner edge of the inner hook on a piece of chipboard. After that, draw a 1mm smaller circle inside. Be careful, not more than 1mm. The 1mm smaller circle is made for the corner cotton fabric I use. If you're using a thicker fabric or linen, you can try to go for 1.5mm. Cut out a smaller circle. Put the double-sided tape on one side of the chipboard, after that, put it together with the felt. Cut the felt along the edge of the chipboard. After that, wrap it up with a piece of fabric. Make sure the felt side is facing the fabric. Cut off the thread that gathered the fabric at the back of the hoop and tuck in the chipboard. The fabric in the front will be bumpy and you can see the wrinkled fabric from the back if you're using cotton fabric. To avoid this happen, you can put a piece of felt underneath the fabric. After that, the surface in the front will be flat and smooth. If you want to glue them up, you can apply the glue around this area. I hope you found this video useful. I would be appreciated if you click on the like button and you are always welcome to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.